Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Thursday night, and we'll get to that former U.S. gymnastics coach charged with abuse and other crimes, and late today we've learned he has died by suicide. We'll get to that in a moment, but we are going to begin with that new COVID variant spreading quickly here in New York City. Researchers racing to find out whether it is more contagious, more deadly, and whether the current vaccines work against it. Meantime, President Biden marking a key milestone this afternoon, 50 million shots in arms since he took office. That's half his goal of 100 million shots in his first 100 days, now weeks ahead of schedule. Here in New York, health officials say that new variant carries a mutation also found in the Brazil and South Africa variants that can weaken the body's immune response. And all eyes tonight now on Johnson & Johnson, that FDA hearing tomorrow. Emergency use authorization could come right after. Three to four million doses potentially next week, 100 million doses by June. And tonight, the numbers, 45 million Americans have now received at least one dose. That's more than 13% of the population. But of course, not a moment too soon with concern now over these variants and the new one right here in New York. ABC's Whit Johnson leading us off. Tonight, researchers are closely tracking a new COVID variant now spreading rapidly through New York City. Two new studies finding the variant is unique, but shares a concerning mutation with the more contagious Brazilian and South African variants. Some health experts now raising questions about whether it could impact the effectiveness of vaccines or other treatments. How worried are you about this new variant in New York City? I'm concerned about this new variant quite concerned. It's carrying certain very important mutations that would allow it to infect people who already have protection against the, the previous variant. But researchers stress it's not clear if this variant is more contagious or more deadly and further study is needed. Trying to stay one step ahead, Pfizer and Moderna are already modifying vaccines to target the South African variant. And both companies are also testing a third booster shot of the original formula to see if they offer more protection. When the vaccine becomes available, take it. Talk the longer about, yeah. one waits not getting vaccinated, the better chance the virus has to get a variant or a mutation. These new variants only adding to the urgency to speed up vaccinations. Here at the Javits Center in New York City, now a mass vaccination hub, they've already reached more than 71,000 shots. Nationwide, 66 million doses administered so far. And today, President Biden marking another milestone, half his goal of 100 million shots in his first 100 days. 50 million shots in just 37 days since I've become president. That's uh, weeks ahead of schedule even with the setbacks we faced during the recent winter storms. But across the country, a scramble to get that coveted shot. In Massachusetts, 50,000 vaccine appointments snatched up in just 90 minutes. The unlucky ones sent to a digital waiting room. I now had 6,886 minutes in the wait line within a period of two minutes. So it, it's just been an exercise in futility. But more vaccine could soon be on the way. Johnson & Johnson ready to ship out three to four million doses of its one-shot vaccine as soon as the FDA grants emergency use authorization, which could come as early as tomorrow night. And another sign of progress. In New York City today, more than 60,000 middle schoolers heading back to the classroom. Today marks an important step towards reclaiming our lives. And Whit Johnson in front of a middle school here in New York that just reopened, one of the schools that did reopen today. But I want to get back to that Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Of course, the one-shot vaccine we've been reporting on here, Whit. And if they recommend emergency use authorization tomorrow after this key hearing, uh, give us a reality check here. How much of this new vaccine could we see and how soon? David, those first vaccines could start shipping out as early as Monday, up to 4 million doses in the initial rollout next week, then 20 million by the end of March, and a total of 100 million doses expected by the end of June. David. All right, Whit Johnson leading us off tonight on the coronavirus. Whit, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.